Okay, uh, we wanted to show you how the crossover lighting affects things. Um, if you look at the shadows here around me, um, you're going to see on my left side here, the shadows are a lot less distinct. My right side, they're a little bit darker shadows. Um, big reason for that, over here to my right, we've got lots and lots of lights, rows and rows and lights. But as we're going to my left, uh, we've only got one row of lights. So we're getting a little bit more as far as shadows um, because there's not as much crossover lighting. When we've got all these other lights, lots of light coming from different angles, it's gonna cut down your shadows. So shows one of the main reasons why crossover lighting is very important. Uh, a lot of activities, workplaces, things like that, you really don't want shadows. Um, so getting good crossover lighting will really help get a, a, a well-lit area and prevent shadows. All right, another thing we wanted to point out here was crossover lighting. You can see around me, there is some shadows, a little bit more left to right um, due to the lighting, but not much for any shadows front to back. Um, this is what we want to get when we're getting into lighting with crossover lighting. Making sure you have enough lights in enough locations to reduce the shadows as much as you can in the field that you're, you're lighting up. softball or baseball field so you can get an idea of the lighting here. We've got a lot of stadium lights up around the field. Uh All right, so we wanted to show you that on this field, you're looking at about uh, 350 lux, just under 350, which would convert over to about 35 foot candles. This is at the pitcher's mound in the center of the field. is what you would think for most recreational fields. Uh, we're looking about 35 um, foot candles on the ground at uh, the pitcher's mount. Um, as we get into the outfield, probably getting down into the 20s, something like that. Um, but if you look around, you might not even notice um, the difference. So a lot of people won't even pick up the difference in the, the brightness as we're moving around the field. Um, All right, we're out here right at the, the line going into the outfield so you can get an idea, grasp of the different um, brightness as we move around the field. Uh, here as we're, we're hitting the grass, we're at about 12 to 13 foot candles, about 120, 130 lux. Uh, we've got about 48 lights that we counted around this field uh, to give you an idea. Um, quite a few lights to get the job done here. A uh, pretty large field, uh, lighting covering up a little bit of extra space here, but you can see the difference going from infield to outfield. All right, to give you a little bit more grasp of the lighting on the field, uh, we had about 35 at the, the mound, about 12 as we hit the grass in the outfield. Here about where second base is going to be, um, we're looking at about 25 foot candles, 250 lux. Um, really hard to see the difference a lot of times, especially if you don't know what you're looking for. Um, so a lot of people wouldn't even notice the difference in the, the drop in, in brightness as we move out. The one thing you will notice though is the shadows. So we look on the infield because there's so much more light on the infield. Here we're not seeing any shadows on the, on the infield, but moving out towards the outfield, uh, we are getting the shadows as the lux drops, as the, the lighting uh, brightness comes down most of the focus is on the infield. So uh, that's one of the things you will notice the really crossover lighting as you get into the outer areas of the field where you're, you've got a bigger area covered by a little bit less light. You are gonna see a little bit more as far as shadows go. That's a, a good determination as the brightness comes down.